One of the great things about putting stuff out on the internet to explain something is that if you don't quite get it right, someone will be sure to jump in and tell you the right way. So um, I got the benefit of that yesterday after I um, posted my video about adding surround reverb. And I realized, based on some comments, that there's a much better way to get the Cinematic Rooms plugin inserted into the Atmos mix. The way I showed first was to use a 7.1.2 channel and then insert that as a bed. And it may be that using a bed has some advantages, but the problem is that that solution was limited to only two height channels. But there is a way to do it using a 7.1.4 channel, and you can do that by importing it as an object. Now, Nuendo has a feature, they call it multi-objects. You can make a channel that has any channel configuration, and then you can import it or add it into the um, Atmos Mix with the authoring tool, and it will become a series of objects, as many objects as it takes. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I have my Atmos renderer on this channel. So what I wanna do is add a group that's going to be a 7.1.4. The output is going to be that channel with the renderer on it. And I'm going to call it, I'll just call it surround reverb. I'm going to move that up just so it's to the left. And then I'm going to insert cinematic rooms on that. It's now inserted in there as a 7.1.4 uh, plugin. So it's actually going to be operating in 7.1.4. The next part is tricky because you can import this into the Atmos rendering tool, but there's one step that we have to do. And I want to show what happens if you don't do the step. This will only take a second. I have that selected and I'm going to add it as a object. It says create objects from selected tracks. So that's going to go in and we'll see that it's actually there, but no object IDs were assigned. So that means it's not going to work. So we're going to back that out. So we're just going to click Remove. Now, I think this is because in Nuendo, I created a group that was 7.1.4, and it's routed into a channel that is also 7.1.4. So Nuendo thinks, well, it's the same channel configuration. There's no reason he would pan that. So it just has this plugin, which is actually the uh, Mix Convert V6. What I need to do is change that to the VST multi-panner. Even if we're not going to pan it, we need to have that panner there. And now, if we go into the authoring tool and try it again, now I'm going to click Create Objects from Selected Tracks. And now we have all the objects. And there's, there's actually, I think there's 11 altogether. Um, and it's what Nuendo calls a multi-object. We can open the render and we could see that, that the um, all those objects are probably, this is all surround reverb, all those guys. So now all we have to do is take whatever instrument we want, saxophone channel, it's actually a stereo group, and all I would need to do then is just create a send to that, our surround reverb. Boom. And there we have it. Now, I'm not 100% sure what the effect of it being a group is versus having it a bed. Um, I do know that a bed is channel-based. You can't move it around or pan it. But what we can do it, with this is we can we could pan it if we wanted to. I don't know why we would. But the other thing that might be interesting is changing the object size. It might be that we want the reverb to be less pinpoint spatially. So, that's all I have for today, just an addendum to yesterday's video. See you next time.